What's up traders, this is Hugh. In this video, I'm gonna show you trading recs. And I think this is gonna be really exciting, at least it is to me. And if you do a lot of back testing and you're actually in there doing the work and putting in the time testing a system, then this should be exciting. If you're not doing the work, then this won't be exciting at all and you can probably stop watching right now. But that being said, this is trading recs. So why I'm so excited about trading recs is because it is a custom um, reporting platform, primarily for MetaTrader 4, but you can also uh, upload custom CSVs. And that part is a little dicey because you have to get the you know the um, columns to line up and trading recs needs to know which column is which and how to calculate all that stuff. So anyway, but I did get them to include Forex Tester 2 as one of the uh, trading f or file formats that you can choose and upload. So let's take a look at this. So here's some testing that I've been doing. Uh, Forex Tester 2 export is one of the data sources, as you can see. So to add a new test, all you do is go up to add new account. You can give the name whatever. You can name your account whatever. And then go to data source. And as you can see, there's a bunch of cool stuff here. Um, MQL5, CSV, uh, strategy tester. Um, you can do an auto update, which is cool. And uh, of course, Forex Tester 2. So when you create that, it'll bring you to this screen and you can select your file. And when you go to Forex Tester 2 and you right click on the uh, trade history in Forex Tester 2 and you export that, then you um, just upload that here when you select file. And I'm just going to, I'm going to delete this account because uh, it's just an example, but um, then you're going to get one of these and let's dig into this a little bit. So as you know, Forex Tester 2 is a great software, but it does definitely have its shortcomings. One of them is reporting. Um, so here's something that I've been testing and I'll show you where reporting like this can be, um, very useful. So for example, in this strategy, you know, it's profitable on balance, um, 93% gain, uh, which is pretty good, but that's over, you know, since 2001 to present. So, um, not a huge gain, but still profitable. Um, trading Rex will give you a breakdown by month. So you can kind of see how things go and what you can expect. Um, and then the total here, 93%. Uh, and then this part is useful also, just the main stats. Um, and something that jumps out here immediately, if you don't notice, is this stat here. So the longs, 81% were one, and the shorts only 53%. So that's something that you could possibly look at. Um, obviously, with 54 trades, that's probably not a big enough sample size to you know, make a valid conclusion yet, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. And if you start testing, this is a daily chart. So if you're testing a four hour chart, then okay, maybe you're gonna get hundreds of trades and then you can kind of see, okay, is it worth only taking the longs? You know, does that significantly increase my advantage? And if you look at this test here, uh, I think it was this one. Um, no, it wasn't that one. Let's see. There was another test where this was like really, really apparent. Uh, maybe it was this one. Let's see. Okay, yeah, here. So 80% uh, of the longs were won and only 33% of the shorts. So that's probably a good sign that you should only take longs. So um, that's the dashboard. Uh, you can look at all the trades. Like this and export the file you can look at stats um, really useful as you can see uh, charts I think this is really really helpful so um, as you can see here you know the the shorts were actually a net loss huh okay so yeah so in this case you probably only want to take the longs because they're really profitable um, some other cool charts here and then you can look at you know things like this is the one that is really helpful to me day of the week so are there any days of the week that are you know really 
that really jump out as a day that you shouldn't be trading. And in this case, you know, Sunday might be that day, but again, not enough of a sample size. Uh, and then here, Friday, okay, so pip wise, Friday's not a good day, but profit wise, it's okay. So that, you know, as you know, pips don't matter. Um, and then you can look at other stuff. Uh, if you have multiple instruments in your account, that will help you do that. But this, there's only one pair in this account, so no big deal. And then risk, uh, and this is kind of cool. It has a 30 simulation run. So over 30, 30 simulations, this system is net profitable um, most of the time. So that's good, I guess. Uh, and then distribution of maximum drawdown. So some really cool stuff here. And um, just to round this video out, you can share this information. So if you click on the share, but share account button, it'll create a shareable link that you can send to anybody to show your backtesting. So I think that's super useful and something that's sorely missed. Um, and then you can stop sharing if you want to. So that's TradingRex, TradingRex.com. I don't make any money by doing this video uh, because they don't charge any money. Uh, this is totally free. They make their money by s trying to sell their reporting service to large corporations and trading desks. So that's their business model right now. And uh, I think it's great. So you should take advantage of this. Um, I don't know any, I don't know of anything else that's out there. And as you probably know, most, most of the time you have to like kind of get a rig, a spreadsheet to give you the days of the week and figure out, you know, which are the good days. Um, you know, our longs or shorts better. And this is so much simpler. You just upload it and you're, you're done. Um, so give it a try, trainingrex.com, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.